What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be giving you some expert tips that I've picked up from keeping mantis shrimp for over three years. I've learned a lot. And if you look online, there are a lot of people who have just got into mantis shrimp keeping and I don't think they know everything about this animal. So today I'm gonna be dispelling some myths giving you some of my expert advice on how to keep mantis shrimp, how to keep them alive, how to feed them, and what it's really like to keep a mantis shrimp at home. Also guys, I hope you enjoy the background footage. It's just a bunch of videos that I have from over the last three years. So, you know, the tank may not be in a perfect state in every video, but this is how my mantis has lived for a while. I made an entire video listing out the stores that sell mantis shrimp. When you get your mantis shrimp home, you're going to want to start by drip acclimating him. Drip acclimating is important because it makes sure that he is fully adjusted to the water that he's going to be added to. You also need to make sure that there's no chlorine or copper or any metals in the water that he's being added to. And that's because mantis shrimp are invertebrates and invertebrates are extremely sensitive to copper. Aside from this though, mantis shrimp are actually pretty hardy creatures. As you can see, mine is in the tank here. This tank probably had 40 parts per million nitrate and that's way higher than I usually have. And he was just fine. My mantis, uh, he's never been stressed out in this 40 gallon. He's always loved it. That is not a excuse to not change your water though because if you don't for an extended period of time they will die. They are an exotic animal and you have to put a lot of care and attention to detail in your setup and care for them. I think the best tank for a mantis shrimp will always be a 40 gallon breeder. I have one here. This is what I used for Kush most of his life and there's plenty of rocks and hiding space as well as sand these are all crucial parts of your mantis shrimp setup he needs rocks to be interactive he needs slopes that he can run up he needs sand that he can dig into and overall he just needs an interactive environment because he is a very smart and intellectual animal I hear a lot of people saying you don't need to do live feedings with your mantis shrimp and while he won't die if you don't feed him live food, it's not the right thing to do. It's just not. Giving your mantis shrimp live food is giving him a much, much, much more natural lifestyle than he would have had in a tank where someone say gives him blood worms every day. Now that's not to say that a mantis shrimp won't eat blood worms, he definitely will. He'll eat squid, he'll eat krill. He'll eat all of it, but your mantis shrimp is going to love getting some live feeding some of the time. And there's a reason they still eat the live food, even when you feed them frozen food. It's because they just have that killer instinct. That's something that makes this animal so, so cool. They are just born hunters. A good live food to feed is ghost shrimp because they're very easy for him to get and pose no threat. And you can feed him frozen food by using a stick or you can put it in the tank with your hands if you're brave. I've kept all different types of mantis shrimp over the last three years and I can tell you there are a lot of commonalities and a lot of differences in these stomatopods. Also is it just me or was that really cool? This guy means the world to me. Kush is an amazing mantis shrimp and we've actually got really close over the years and he's really comfortable with my hands in the tank and when I feed him, he knows exactly what's happening. He's grown to learn that the camera means food, although he likes to scout out his prey very well before he makes his first hit. I also kept a super red mantis shrimp back in the day. He was super cool probably the most beautiful mantis shrimp I've ever seen in my entire life. And then I fed my super red mantis shrimp a blue crayfish and apparently I started some sort of gang war, crips and bloods. Oh, oh, trying to pinch him. Oh, oh he is. Oh, he dead ass is. 
Uh, I don't know. Sorry, guys. Okay, I don't have all day, so I'm going to dispel some myths really quickly, starting with this one. Mantis shrimps are not going to break your tank. While the mantis shrimp's punch can theoretically create enough force, I've had these guys long enough to know that they're not going to hit it the exact right way to break your tank's glass. The next is that they have incredible eyesight. While they do have incredible capabilities in the wild, in your tank, they're actually pretty blind. Like, I'm not going to lie, sometimes the LEDs make it so hard for him to attack that He's better off just hunting with the lights off. And lastly, is the notion that live feedings are a bad thing. I mean, Jesus Christ, can you let a mantis shrimp be a mantis shrimp? Here's a bunch of live feedings. Live feeding, live feeding, live feeding. Here's my crab literally ripping a lobster in half and eating it. 